Hello everyone and welcome back to Traversing Food. Today we're taking a stop in the UK. We're going to try out this British 24 hour menu number 16 ration. These rations usually pretty much have no information on them except for the menu. But for now let's dig into this ration and see what we have. I think it's the uh, Mexican tuna pasta and chili con carne. Okay, got our accessory pack, we'll check that out later. Have a grapefruit drink, tropical flavor drink, we have a raspberry drink, a hot chocolate drink, we have a fruit mix of raisins, sultanas, and currants. We have a bag of just nuts, which looks like contain peanuts, almonds, and cashews. We have a package of good old tissue paper. We have a fruit explosion, apple, kiwi, and passion fruit. We have an apple flavored energy drink. Plenty of drinks in here. We have what's called an oatmeal block which I'm guessing is like a oatmeal cookie, but uh, seems like it's going to be an oatmeal crumble. Have some lemon flavored bold sweets. Have our mango cake. Have a bottle of our hot diggity dog hot pepper sauce. Definitely be using that. One of our mains of chili con carne. This is 300 grams. We have another 300 grams of Mexican tuna with pasta. I've had this before. These are really good. Have a bag of apple cinnamon muesli with milk. And we have a container. 160 grams of plain rice. Probably have that with our chili con carne. And as always, we have the feedback form. You can fill out if you liked or disliked it. Leave comments or and send it in for a prize drawing. I don't know what the prize drawing is, though. And we have a sheet of most of the menus. Looks like it goes from menu 11. You can pause it if you want to read more and flip it over goes to menu 17 to 20 and that's it check out the accessory pouch we have two antibacterial wipes The standard Typhoo tea and English breakfast tea. Three packs of sugar. Probably going to say it wrong, but a Rombouts instant coffee. Nescafe instant coffee. Small bag of mint flavored gum. Four packs of creamer. Another pack of sugar. Six water purification tablets. Five windproof matches. And our big old spork. This one is uh, pretty tough. I've always enjoyed this one. Okay, let's try and get everything laid out real quick. And as always, a good decent amount of food. That's another reason I've liked the British rations. All right, let's get breakfast started. Okay, everybody, breakfast is not gonna be too heavy. 
Naturally, we're going to have our apple and cinnamon muesli with milk. Or just nuts. Fruit explosion. We're going to have our hot chocolate drink. This makes 500 milliliters. So I'm only going to use half of it. Because once again, I'm going to dump in a Nescafe. Tea. Sugar for our tea because I always like a little bit of sugar with my tea. I prefer honey. Our spoon and an antibacterial wipe. Got 100 grams of muesli. Only calls for 100 mils of water. Just says to let stand for one minute. Let's get it started real quick. You can see all the oats, bits of apple. One thing I do like about this, for the nuts, they actually use pumpkin seeds. I like that a lot better. See if I can just do this by hand. I think I got everything. I wonder if it'll stand up. Yes, it will. Okay, I'm going to get our drinks ready. And before I forget, which I usually do, let's check out this antibacterial wipe. It's a, actually a decent size. It's almost more like a towel. Doesn't smell like anything. Very springy. Kind of like the Russian ones. Yeah, these are very nice. Hands don't smell like anything. The lemon ones are okay, but unfortunately it smells like lemon furniture polish. But these, I really like. Check out our just nuts. Probably just your standard nut mix, which is okay. And also, that was 75 grams. And if you're wondering, I know the box doesn't have a date on it, but everything I've checked out is either 2019 or 2020. Plenty of time left. And another thing I forgot to mention, I did get this ration from the great people at Foreign MRE. Sure, tea is done brewing. sugar all right let's get this measly dumped out Definitely a decent amount of muesli, a good amount of sunflower seeds. You can see the bits of apple. Very good flavor. It's not overly sweet. Just sweet enough. Unfortunately, you can't really taste the apples. It's mainly an oat flavor, and that's okay with me. It does have a milky taste and you can actually taste a little bit of a cinnamon flavor. Yeah, that is really good. Check out our mixed nuts. Just peanuts, cashews, and almonds. seventy five grams it is not salted I wish I had a little bit of salt to go with it they do taste good though decent tasting English breakfast tea but I do know I'm gonna like this yeah 
nice strong flavor nice and chocolatey has a little bit of a coffee background flavor very good check out this fruit explosion it's 90 grams I know you're supposed to eat this on the go but I kind of wish that you know maybe had some crackers or something to go with it I know it's apple kiwi passion fruit but with all of them blended together you can't single out each flavor it's okay I guess but that does it for breakfast I'm gonna go and finish all this like I said I'm gonna try and do breakfast lunch and dinner all in one take so I'll see you soon for lunch hello everyone and welcome back for lunch where I'm trying to do a better job of getting a 24-hour ration done in a decent amount of time so let's dig right in for lunch we'll be having our 160 grams of rice 300 grams of chili con carne our bag of raisins sultanas and currants our 25 gram oatmeal block and just so we get in all our drinks an apple energy drink our grapefruit drink a rombouts coffee I'm not sure if I'm saying that right I'm sure somebody will correct me some of our lemon sweets some sugar for our coffee if we need it I've not had this brand before the hot diggity dog pepper sauce I've also not had that before and naturally our spoon so first things first let's get our mains in some hot water and get our drinks ready okay everyone the drinks are ready the mains have heated up let's get everything else onto the tray kind of like an oatmeal cookie it's just kind of beat up no big deal let's get our fruit mix ready I'm just going to use about half of it save the other half for dinner mains are really hot we'll start off with the rice kind of clumpy and here is our main very hot I know you probably can't see in there it's very dark But it smells very good has a really nice chili smell you can see the red beans in it the beef but first I want to taste this coffee you know I love coffee I put a little more water in there than I should have it's a little bit weak but that's my fault as for the fruit mix everything looks good very nice and sweet really good flavor gonna try out the drinks here's an apple energy drink very clear has a very nice apple flavor really good flavor and for the grapefruit drink a very very nice pink grapefruit drink 
Give a little try on this oatmeal cookie. Nice and sweet. Not too much of an oatmeal flavor. It's not very strong, but it's still very tasty. As for the chili and rice, it looks good. It smells good. So let's give it a try. Yes, that tastes really good. I enjoy that quite a bit. But you know how I am. Definitely need to get the hot pepper sauce. Maybe try a little bit of this on its own. Definitely got some heat to it. Good flavor though. Yeah, that adds a good heat to it. Very nice. You can definitely taste the heat. This grapefruit drink, man, it beats everything. Yeah, I like coffee. But for the drinks, the grapefruit is a winner. Try one of these lemon candies. Good flavor. You know, it's just your standard lemon candy. Not too sweet. Good flavor. Nice little treat when you're in between meals. So I would say lunch is definitely a winner. And I hope you enjoyed the review of it. And I'll see you next at dinner. Okay, now that lunch is over, let's get ready for dinner. But first, I'd like to say, when I'd done my lunch review, I was a little bit tired. It was at the end of the day, and I should have just waited till the next day. But I wanted to get it done. But I don't know if I mentioned it or not. At least for the main, the rice was good. Had a nice chew to it. It wasn't mushy. And the chili had nice chunks of beef in it. Kenny beans had a really nice chili flavor. All in all, it was a good dish and I enjoyed it. But let's get started with dinner. For the main, we have 300 grams of Mexican tuna with pasta. A lot of the dishes in here are by Beyond the Beaten Track. I've had their items before, they're really good. I have had this item also. or 75 grams of mango cake. The rest of our raisins, sultanas, and currants, which if people don't know, it's just different types of grapes that have been made into raisins. And for our drinks, we'll have a raspberry drink. The tropical flavor drink. The Taifu tea, some sugar for our tea because I like a little bit of sugar or sweetness with my tea. I prefer honey, but I'll use sugar in case I need a little bit of heat for our Mexican tuna. We've got our hot diggity hot sauce. I'll try some of the mint flavored chewing gum and naturally. Our big old spoon. I'm not going to heat up the Mexican tuna. I'm just going to eat it at room temperature. So let's get our drinks ready. Okay, our drinks are made. The tea is brewing. 
So let's get everything else onto the tray. Got the rest of our fruit mix from lunch. Our mango cake. Doesn't seem to have an oxygen absorber with it. Wonder how it smells. Doesn't smell too much of mango. Smells pretty sweet. Almost like a pound cake. And I really enjoy pound cake. Get this Mexican tuna out onto the tray. Plenty of food. Smells really good. You can definitely see the kidney beans in there. Looks like red bell pepper, onion. A lot of corn. Looks great. Our tea should be done brewing. Add a little bit of sugar in there. So let's try this Mexican tuna. Definitely see chunks of tuna in there. Flavor is really good. A little bit oily. I think the corn overpowers the tuna just a little bit. But you can still taste the tuna. You can taste the bell pepper. Let's give the drinks a try. The raspberry drink does taste like raspberry. Just a slight artificial taste to it. Has good flavor. A little bit sweet but not overpowering. The tropical drink, it just has that standard run-of-the-mill tropical flavor. Also, not overly sweet. Good flavor. And the tea. Nice tasting black tea. Tastes like an English breakfast. Very drinkable. Had some of the raisins for lunch, but if you missed lunch, very good flavor, nice and sweet, just like raisins should be. But as for the Mexican tuna with pasta, you know me. Yeah, do something about that spice level. You can put some hot sauce into the ration, you know darn well I'm going to use it. Yeah, that hot diggity dog pepper sauce adds a really good kick to this. It may not be for everybody, but I really enjoy it. Let's give this cake a try. That is a very, very moist cake. Just has the slightest mango flavor. A little bit sweet. About as sweet as a pound cake, but very moist. I also want to try this gum.
looks like you get about eight to ten pieces a very strong mint flavor not sweet I know it says right on the front of the package mint flavored chewing gum with sweetness but I'll tell you right now it's not sweet at all but it does have a good flavor okay then as for dinner I know the Mexican tuna with the pepper sauce is very enjoyable but this mango cake beats it out just by a little bit very moist nice and sweet I know I'll be finishing both. I enjoyed all the drinks. I think this ration as a whole is really good, which is menu 16. So if you want to give it a try, I recommend it. But as where we're heading next, definitely going to be heading south to France. My favorite rations so far have been from Russia. I enjoy them quite a bit. I know Nathan at Nathan MREs really talks highly about the rations from France. This is going to be the first time I give them a try. They look really good. I don't know which one I'm going to try first. I have a couple of them. Hopefully you'll be there to enjoy them too. But for now, if you enjoyed this review, hit that like button, share with your friends, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.